National Wild Turkey Federation. If you're a hunter, you know all about them. And with us today is Becky Humphreys, the CEO. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Well, thank you for coming in. Actually, you, you uh, spoke at a breakfast this morning. I did, at the research breakfast. And how did that go? It went very well. We talked about um, hunter recruitment, retention, and reactivation. Some of the programs to really try and increase the number of hunters across this country. And you were, uh, you were just involved in a, in a research project. We were. We worked with Rob Southwick quite a bit in terms of not only understanding our members of the National Wild Turkey Federation, but also better understanding hunters and shooters and how we can think about moving shooters into the, into the ranks of our hunting public out there and also how we can make hunters more active hunters. It's interesting because, as we talked about earlier, I, I run a very large shooting club. And, and there are, they're like two, they, they both shoot, but they're shooters and there's hunters. And, and getting that crossover is sometimes difficult. It is, and we're finding the new ranks of hunters, we tend to have a lot of women entering hunting as well as shooting, but it's, it's a sport where if they don't have friends or family to help get them in, it can be a bit intimidating. And also it takes a bit of a social network to really keep people involved in hunting. So we have created some recruitment and retention programs to get people involved in the sport, get them comfortable, to have them not only learn about conservation and the species they want to hunt and have safe shooting skills, but also how to prepare the meat that they, that they harvest out there and really make it a lifelong um, outdoor activity that they can pursue as a lifestyle. Well, it really is, it's a good family Oh, it do. is. And that's the new market we're going after. Um, you know, historically in the, in the conservation field, we've gone after youth primarily, but really we're going after the young adults now because they're mobile, they can make decisions, and it's something that they're very interested in the food source, and they can do it as they grow families and do it as a family activity. Well, unfortunately, w women have become a very fast-growing segment of the, of the shooting community. They have, they have. And that's, in just in the past few years, it's really taken off. Yeah, it's changed quite a bit, and in the hunting community, that's our fastest-growing segment also, which is refreshing for me, having been a lifelong sure. hunter, I entered this field uh, in an era where there were very few other women, and now there's women's clothing and a lot of product that's available to women. But also I think more and more women see themselves in the outdoor activities of hunting and shooting, and, and it, it is empowering and it's fun. And I think one of the things that I find encouraging, I've been instructing for, for many years, and there was a, sort of a male-dominated mentality in the shooting sports, and because there are a lot more women now, particularly younger women have come in, uh, I, I think you're finding the instructors today have gotten rid of, of that sort of baggage that they carried years ago. I agree, and I think it's incumbent upon all of us to make sure that we welcome people into it, let them know there are no stupid questions, you know, it, that everybody has to learn the basics. And you either learn it from a family member or a friend early on, or you go back and you want to learn it in an environment that's fun and welcoming, not intimidating. So what other initiatives do you have going? Well, the National Wild Turkey Federation really focuses on save the habitat, save the hunt. So the other thing that we really work on is active habitat management. We're, we're one of the largest partners of the U.S. Forest Service, and we have partnership agreements with almost all 50 states to do active habitat management on the ground. We're lucky in the National Wild Turkey Federation because the money we raise in the states, 80% of it stays there, and we have our state super funds that work with the agency to determine what are those highest priorities and then really put good habitat on the ground. That's great. You have a, a trade show coming up, don't we you? We do. Uh, we have uh, what we, uh, our National Wild Turkey Federation National Convention is coming up uh, February 14th through 18th in Nashville, Tennessee. It's, uh, it's a huge convention, about 52,000 people last year. We're hoping for even more this year. It's a great time for us to not only have a trade show, but also to honor our, our volunteers and our best partners out there. Well, Becky Humphreys, we appreciate you coming in. Uh, and you want to make sure to make that trade show. Turkey hunting is the thing to go to today. It is. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.